Hello guys and glad to have you back. In our last lesson we saw an example of casting in Python where we could change one data type into another data type. We saw how we could change an integer into a string and vice versa. This time around let's go ahead and see how we could use format specifiers. With format specifiers it Python allows you to display your results or the output using the print function in a much more human readable form. So let's go ahead and get into that. So first I'll create a new file. I'll create this new file and I'm just going to call that 04 underscore format specifiers one dot py to indicate that this is a Python file. Now what we're going to do is to quickly add a title and we're just going to call this uh, lessons on format specifiers. So let's create a variable that contains someone's name and see how we can display that variable. I'll press Ctrl B just to hide that. So first I'm going to say name equals, you can actually use any name to follow along. So I'll say middle name and then finally I'll use a surname like so. And this is a name so I'll start it with a capital letter like that. I'll just increase this size one unit so we can all see this. So normally if we wanted to print say the name, I'll just say print name to print uh, display the name. Alright, so if I run this, uh, press Control F5 and we actually see the name Musa appear right here. Now if you're running yours, that uh, console might come up. So if you just click this arrow, you can actually hide it. So that's what this name is. And if you want to clear the screen, you can do CLS. Oops, I'm in CLS over here to clear the screen. Okay, it doesn't want to respond, so let's just get rid of that. So that's how we can uh, quickly print this name. So a quick, uh, nice way to use that, let's go ahead and say uh, using format. So to use the format specifier within a print function, you pass in a percent symbol with the type or shorthand for the type of data. So basically what I mean is I can say print and I can say things like print the uh, first name. Now remember this is a string. This is not the uh, name. I'll use a column and then this is where the specifier comes into play. So I'll say format symbol and S. Basically I'm telling Python that uh, what I want to replace right here when we're printing is going to be a string. So I'll do that for the middle name, middle name. Now this is not the same uh, variable up there. This is just a text. So that's what I'm using to represent that. So format S and then we'll pass in the surname like so. And then format S. All right. So what we'll actually do next is to uh, print these three. I believe this is a bit of overkill. So let's just do the uh, single name first. It, I believe it'd be more easier to understand. So if I wanted to just print the name, I'm just going to use the format symbol an S and right here I'll pass in the format symbol right after the closing uh, quotes and I'll pass in the variable I want to print out. If we save this and run this, we should actually get the name Musa like so. And I'll press in CLS just to clear that screen. So now we can actually do for our, we can actually use this to create multiple names. For a single data, if I use the format S, which means the percent symbol is the format, that's what it means, the format specifier in S, it means I want to display a string. And I know this is a string because it's represented in quotes. So name is a string variable that is stored in this uh, computer's memory because we're using uh, Python for this. So that's why, uh, and to specify that, we're going to use the format symbol again with the name that we're using to store that variable. And Python is going to take this and print the results here. So if we have multiple uh, components to do that, we're actually going to 
pass in that format specifier and then open and close parentheses and then we pass in the name of those variables. So the first one is the name, then we have middle name, and lastly, we have the uh, surname, like so. And if we save this and run it, we should actually see we have the first name, Musa, middle name, Tukur, and surname, Usman. And that's quite awesome, like so. So I'll just go ahead and drop this and we can drag this to the bottom if we don't want that to uh, interfere with what we're doing. So uh, again, what we can do with the format specifier is to present a numerical value to significant figures. So let's say we have a, uh, let's import the pi from the math module. So I'm simply going to say from math, import pi, pi is the uh, 3.14, basically 22 over seven, that's the constant. So if we go over here and say print pi, save this, and we just run this, we're going to get the full length of pi, 3.1459, and it goes on continuously, but Python just stops it at this value. So what we can actually do is to print this value to two significant figures. And to do that, let's just say, uh, let's create a comment and say print pi to two That's basically two figures after the decimal point. So I just want to see 3.14. So to do that, I'll say print and we'll use our new format specifier. So I can add in extra information. So I'll say pi to two significant figures is so what I'm going to do is to pass in the format symbol and this time around, I'll say point two F, like so. And just outside the parent, the closing coat, what I'm going to do is to use the format specifier and say, I want you to put pi right here. So if we save this and we run this, we should get pi to two significant figures is 3.14. If I say to three significant figures and I save this, and I run this, we can actually, it says 3.142. So we can see how the format specifier is helping us round values and we can add more text. And the text is going, whatever we add here is going to be replaced by the variable that is stored right here when we are called pi. We're calling pi from the math module. That's why we can see it here. So next, we can also format uh, output using different types. We said we were just using strings, but if we wanted to represent the numbers, we use a format specifier with D, which is for integers. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that with a simple example. So let's just say uh, example two, and let's create two variables. I'm gonna create a variable called, a string variable called title, and we're going to pass in our price per product. And I'm going to create another one called title two. And let's create a string. I'm just going to call this uh, amount like so. I'll also create an integer. Let's just say num 12, or let's say 125. It doesn't matter, any number uh, can work. So we now have a number. So let's see how we can represent a number here. So first you start with your quotes, to which means you want to pass in string data. So I'll pass the format specifier an S with a space, and I'll create the format specifier again with a D. This means the second value is going to be an integer. So first I'm going to say title, and let's not forget since we're using more than one value, I'll just pass in the percent symbol, and I'll close this as well. So I'm passing title and num. So let's just copy this again. Let's create another one. Let's say num two, call this 12. 
So let's copy this code and paste it right below here. And let's change this to title two and num two as well. So basically we're going to print out a number, a string and a number. So it says price per product is 125 and the amount is 12. So I need to just add, if I add a quote right here, So and add one like that. Let's see what happens when we run our code. So we, ah, you can actually see it's adding this right after the uh, product. So to solve that, let's just go ahead and do this. An easy fix will be to just add the quotes here and here so that it's going to be represented when we print our results. So we can actually price for product is 125, the amount is 12. So now we can see a simple issue. If we wanted to line this up, I wanted this 12 to come right underneath where this 125 is. What we're going to uh, actually do is to add some uh, padding to our, uh, our code right here. So let's go ahead and add that padding. So here where we have num2, if we add a value, say for instance let's add let's say 20 right here and save that and just run it we can actually see it pushes this variable called amount 20 units so we can actually reduce that to say uh, 18 and just save that so if we hold function and press f5 just to run this, we can actually see it actually lines up because we're pushing this text right here. So that's how we can uh, we can achieve that. 18 simply means we're adding, adding 18 spaces to the string, which is title 2, which is amount. So we're adding 18 spaces so it can line up with the first one. But you don't need to. If you don't need to format your output to make it line up, I'm just showing you how you can do that. So let's just save this and move on. So there are other uh, format specifiers and I'll just go ahead and mention them right here and feel free to play, uh, play around with them. So let's see, other format specifiers. So here I'll create a doc string and I'll pass in that information here. So first, if we wanted to uh, use a string, we'll use format an S and this is uh, used for strings. If we wanted to represent a number, we'll use the format symbol, which is the percent symbol, and D uh, used with integers. I think this should be with, used with strings and used with integers. So another type we can actually uh, think about is the uh, R, which is actually a general one. So if you do format uh, R, this is uh, for strings or, so this is kind of like, uh, this. you can use this one, is called a raw, uh, raw string format specifier, and you can use it for both integers or strings. If we wanted to add a percent sign, because a percent sign already exists, to do that, we're going to do this. You're going to say, uh, you add the first format specifier, like so. And then if, let's say for instance, it's a, a number. So you add D to tell it Python that this is a number. And then you can add two string, two format specifier symbols, and just say used to add a, uh, and basically what this is going to do is to do a calculation for you. We'll see that in an example. So if we wanted to add spaces like we've seen, so for instance, if I have a format and I just have a number D, if I wanted to add six spaces, I'll add six. If I wanted to add 10, I'll add uh, 10 spaces. So we used to add padding and this will add 
10 spaces, like so. If we wanted to add zeros after a number, what we can actually do is to use the format symbol and then we we'll say zero and uh, let's say a number, uh, let's say uh, six or five and D. This is going to add five zeros, right? And then let's use the one we did in the example. If we wanted to you know, display two values after a decimal point or one value, we say point two with an F, let's not forget the F. This will add, oh, let's say this will show only two digits after the uh, decimal point. So these are, there are lots of other uh, format specifiers, but these are the most uh, common uh, ones. So let's try out that uh, percent right here. So if I say print like so, and I pass in my format specifier and I say uh, percent D with uh, two percents, and I say a percent and say, for instance, I have num2 or we have num already. I'm just go ahead and reuse, but it's not a percentage. So I'll say 0 0.23 like so. And I say num2. I want to print that. Let's just save that and run this. And we actually see that's zero percent. So this is 0 0.23. Let's try uh, 23 and save that and run this. It's actually, it's actually printing out the uh, symbol for us. It's saying 23%. So that's how you can uh, use that one over there. So in our next lesson, we're going to look at a much more easier and convenient modern PEP3 Python standard format specifiers. Trust me, it's actually going to be much more fun and easier to use the modern specifiers, but these are kind of the classic specif format specifiers and you don't really see them around these days. But you know, for interviews, they're trying to just place out these little things and trying to catch you unawares. So it's good to actually have knowledge of this. And uh, thanks very much, guys. In the part two of this lesson, we'll be working with the modern format specifiers. Thank you very much for watching.